I was really into robotics. I loved robots. And a 3D printer was a robot that made something, so that was really cool to me. I get to do new materials development, so typically in 3D printing right now, companies aren't seeing the materials that they need. So I can actually select a 3D printing process that will work for them, and then add a material that maybe has never been processed that way before and see if it works out. Uh, 3D printing is uh, a revolutionary technology. Uh, we're, we're interested in it at NASA because we need to make parts in space. And now we have a self-sustaining civilization in outer space. But we never have to launch anything from Earth, and we make everything in space, and, and we, we don't only just survive in space, we thrive in space. We thrive because the resources are unlimited. Unlimited energy, unlimited materials. I, I think it's really interesting that we, we've seen a lot of high school students come through here and, and really be inspired by all the different types of things that they're seeing happen. Um, and, and they're having ideas that the, uh, the old folks in the crowd, so to speak, would, would never have come up with because we, we have pre um, you know, thought set that we how, how things are supposed to work. And you, you take a, a younger person who hasn't been uh, had all their creativity educated away from them, and they look at 3D printing and they, they see ideas that we never could have come up with. You have to have a process that is going to fundamentally change the way a component or a family of components is made. On the enterprise side now, um, very well established, uh, viable technology. I hope when I come back next year that we'll have multiple material capabilities that we're not going to be limited to just single materials. <laughs> <laughs>